And I'm going to start on the big side. The side with all the hair. Oh, I love that I can scratch my scalp. The glory, girl, the glory of it all. Listen on long enough, you can love me. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between. I am back with somebody else's hair but my own scalp. And guess what? <laughs> it is wine and wigs day. Clink, 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 clink. Mm. So I know when I'm not drinking wine, but I am drinking another matcha green tea. I love me a matcha green tea. Y'all tell me what you're drinking down below. Also, before we get into this hair, can you also hit subscribe and the post notification bell if you like what you see. So join. You know what I'm saying? What is this? Do y'all see this hair? Oh, this straw is just hanging out in the view. Girl, get out the way. <laughs> get out the way, girl. Y'all know I love a little root realness with my wig and it's giving root realness today. It's giving root realness. Today we're going to be doing a wig review with another V-part wig. And y'all know I love U-part, V-part wigs. I love wigs where I can have a little bit of leave out just so I can give my forehead a break. It's tired of being sticky. I want to say thank you to Clyde Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. Are my hands ashy? But this wig, like I said, was super easy to apply. So I decided in this video I wanted to do two styles, but I actually did three, like one with a claw clip. I was able to try it in a side part and a middle part. I wanted to show y'all what it looked like on both sides. You just don't have to wear it as a bust down, girl. You could do it as a bust side, as a bust other side. <laughs> if y'all wanna see what I did to apply this wig, get these curls to pop, and you wanna get more details on this wig, please keep on watching, and I'll be back at the very end with my final thoughts and a coupon code. Let's go ahead and get into the packaging for your Clyde hair wig. I'm try not trying to hold y'all. Leave out wigs are easy to apply, so we can just go ahead and get into it. So, for your packaging for your Clyde hair wig, of course it comes in the Clyde hair box. Inside of the box, I received some gifts. Now, the gifts I received may not be the gifts you received, but these are the gifts that were inside of the box for me, okay? I received the Clyde storage bag. This is where you put your wig. A elastic band, these are clutch. Um, two wig caps, girl, they too light for my skin tone. Oh, this is a big old turban headband. All right. A turban headband, an elastic band, and you have the little satchel. Inside this satchel, I have a bonnet, the lashes, y'all know these girls, an elastic band, and one of my favorite makeup brushes, girl, I'll be using these on my face. I probably shouldn't. Of course, also inside of that box, you receive your wig, and this is the wig right here. Look at her, baby, baby. So this wig is the Jerry Curl Highlight V-Part wig. It is 24 inches long and 150% density. For the cap construction of this wig, you have five clip-in combs. So two on each side of the V-Part and one in the back. Girl, I don't, is there one in the back? Yeah, this one in the back. I never used this one. Maybe I should, but I never used that one. And you also have three sliding combs to secure the sides of the wig. So two on the side and one in the back and the adjustable straps down there at the bottom, you see? Now, let's go ahead and get into applying this wig. You know, when I apply my wigs, I apply my wigs with leave out. I like the leave out look, so let me pull my natural hair out. I like to give y'all like little natural hair updates. If you've been on my channel for a long time, girl, it started real scary. I'm gonna do a side part with the V part. <gasps> let's do it. Okay, so since we're gonna do a side part, I think I'm gonna put my side part on this side. I'm gonna part my hair to the side and then just clip it on without any leave out on it because I need to style it. So, girl, my hair is way too short for this. Oh my God. I'm just gonna do a big braid like this just to get the hair out the way because it's not gonna lay down on its own. Oh my God. So I'm just gonna do a big braid to the side and we'll fix it later. Oh, these two little 
braids is cute. I'm gonna try not to braid my hair because it breaks my hair off, but oh my God, that is so adorable. So let's throw this wig on. So you could do a middle part or a side part. I'm gonna cock it to the side and see what it gives. These combs are sliding, ooh, clip combs. So I'm just gonna unclip all of these like this. It's just like clip-ins. I'm gonna unclip them. Now the type of combs that they use have the rounded, I don't know if y'all care, but it has like the rounded tips. It's not like the combs that stick straight through the hair. I prefer these sort of combs because they don't break off my hair as much and they're not as rough on my hair because these combs can be rough sometimes. You gotta be careful. Okay, so we're just gonna lazily clip this in because I just wanna see what it's gonna look like. Ooh. And how I should style it. I am not applying this for any no leave out method, but y'all can see what it looks like. I never think that looks right. I just don't. Ooh, but this do. So this is what the hair looks like. Oh. Ah! This wig, like you could wear it out of the box, but y'all know how I like to do. I like to make my wigs look like, oh, that's her. That's her, that's you, yes ma'am. So I think I'm gonna do that with this wig with a little bit of layering, but I don't even think I need to cut it, but I have the urge to cut it. Like I just like layering on my wigs. It makes the wigs look fuller and it makes them look more like catered to you. So let me show you what it looks like in the back too. What is it giving in the back? Oh, very much pretty. Yes. Mm-hmm. Y'all know it's time for me to be teen too much. So in order to cut, I think I want this section of the hair to be cut, right? I want it to be like layered down. So as you can see, the ends are like a little bit drier. Obviously that's to be expected because there is blonde pieces in this hair, baby. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna chop at first, I was gonna go short, but I don't think that's gonna add to the hair, so I think I'm gonna go like right here. Okay, I need to angle more downward, so I'm just gonna, girl, I'm just going off. Y'all know how I go. I go off vibes. I just do what I wanna do, hello? And I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh, it's pretty so far, okay. And I'm gonna take another section and just layer downwards just the same way. And I'm taking a big old chunk. Never do this, but this is what I'm doing. Downwards. See, this is where I be messing up. <laughs> I don't really know what I be doing, but I do it anyways. Okay, I'm gonna take another piece in the front, like a smaller piece, and I'm just gonna layer it down where it's just like a little bit more. <laughs> Cause I can't leave well enough alone. There we go. Oh, y'all see though? I just, I'm getting some volume here. Okay. <laughs> Friend, I did a little bit too much. I'm up. Uh, it's starting to be like, oh no. <laughs> it's time for me to leave it alone. Ooh, ooh. Not me thinking I could say. <laughs> See, this is, I probably should, y'all are probably screaming at me. Oh my God, I know you're hollering and yelling. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, I gotta do the same thing to this side, but not like not too much. It's just gotta be layered up a little bit, so. I'm just like, I just grabbed a piece and started cutting. That's really what I just did. And now my scissors are going dull. Like what is happening, girl? Now I'm not regretting it, but I'm kind of regretting it, you know? <laughs> oh. I need 
need to leave it alone though. I think I'm gonna leave it alone. But like, what am I supposed to do with this eye? <laughs> so for the ends, I'm just gonna do like a little trimation. I should probably not though, because this wig is cocked to the side, so. Oh, but it's about to be cute. Okay, I'm happy with what I just did. <laughs> So next, let's go ahead and add mousse to the hair and see what else we can do to it. <laughs> we need to define these curls now because now I need to see what, how much damage I've done. <sighs> do I get on y'all's nerves? Y'all about to love me after this. <laughs> let's go ahead and start with moussing the hair down. So I'm gonna go in sections like I always do. I'm gonna clip this hair away. Oh, that clip matches. That is so cute. And I'm gonna start on the big side. The side with all the hair. Oh, I love that I can scratch my scalp. The glory, girl, the glory of it all. I'm gonna section away the hair. I'm gonna try my very best not to over mousse because that takes so much time. But we're here now. So we're gonna use the... Can y'all say it with me? The Shea Moisture Frizz Free Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Mousse. I feel like I kinda wanna do a middle part now. I'ma keep going with the side part. I'ma see what the side part is giving because I'm always doing middle parts. So I feel like the side part could be fun. So let me, let me keep going down this road and see where it takes us. So we're adding the mousse to the hair just to define the curls. How? I think the comb is t tugging at my hair and I'm playing games, letting it do it. Oh, okay. Did I tell y'all? This is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Freeze Free Curl Mousse. If you've been here on my channel before, y'all know I ride for her, okay? I'm gonna get up in the roots too. Get up in the roots. We take our clumper, our curl clumper. That's what I'm gonna call her. The Evolve 572 brush. And I'm just gonna comb the hair through. Now you could just wash the wig because I feel like that would just be easier. But this is what I like to do. <laughs> so I'm combing through the curls and we wanna see how these curls activate. I love to see curls activate. Little power range of curls. Oh, y'all see how these curls have activated? I love to see what they look like when they get wet because, you know, they become different girls. They do. This is what it looks like now. We're gonna go throughout the hair and just add the mousse. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and dry the hair. I'm gonna move in big chunks because I don't have time to be here all day moisturizing wigs. You know what I'm saying? I got food to eat. I think we're gonna go have burgers for lunch. <laughs> so, it's 2 on 9 and we still haven't had lunch yet. So, I got like an hour to get these curls together. So, time is of the essence, friend.
So, the hair is like 50, 50% 50 dry. It's gonna take a minute to dry, so while this wig dries, we need to do our base. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop her off. While we wait for this wig to dry, I need to pop her off and we are gonna work on this base. Cause y'all know I be doing something particular with my base. I be feeling like I'm real different, even though I probably be doing the same thing as all the other girls. But I'ma act like I'm real different and show y'all how I do my base. Ow. Girl, I know I lost a couple hairs the way I was tugging at this thing. So all we have to do is let her dry, but these curls are popping out, baby. I really do like this little hairstyle. It is so cute. It makes me want to cut my hair short and do like a little, you know what I'm saying? So cute. Let me take this hair down because we about to do a side part situation. So, so I'm gonna part away some hair. Try not to do too much because y'all know how my hair is. It's temperamental. Ooh, girl, it's a little bit of gel in there. Don't worry about that. This side as well. And then that works. Ooh, girl, I kind of want to trim these ends real bad. Y'all, I got an issue with always trimming my hair. And I'm about to trim this real quick. <laughs> I don't care. I'm going to do it. So I'm gonna twist this hair away. I just really just cut my hair on camera for no reason. <laughs> Somebody stop me. Okay. So I'm just gonna twist away the hair and we're gonna do a little clip. I'm gonna clip it away while we braid the rest of the hair. So that hair is clipped away. I just try and make sure I don't be messing up the hair. There we go. And next, we're going to go ahead and braid down our hair. And then we'll work on the edges last. Sometimes I work on the edges first, but we'll work on them last. I'm just going to do one braid because I don't, I don't feel like... <laughs> That's me being lazy, girl. I'm just going to go ahead and braid the hair this way. Like this. Ooh. Just going to braid it down and I'm trying not to do too tight of a braid but it's just gonna be one braid that's going back if you can't braid you can just brush your hair down but I like to do a good old braid because my hair is real short right now Let's go ahead and do our edges, the wig, the wig. My natural scalp is a wig. I know that's right. This is what the braid down looks like, y'all. The back is whatever it is. So I'm not parting my hair down the middle no more because my hair is breaking off in the middle because I decided I was going to be cute with two little French braids on the side, but my hair can't take two French braids. So we're going to go just no part in the back. Oh, look how flat the back of my head is. Okay. That's what it looked like. So now I'm going to do my edges. Now I used to be like slicking down the edges. I'm not going to do that because what I find, the fuzzier, the better for me because it looks a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to take a baby hair brush and some, you already know, Eco Styler Gel. This is the girl that I trust right here. So we're going to take some Eco Styler Gel and I'm going to just get some baby hairs together. Oh, ooh. And I like to brush them real, ooh. Okay, that's not even a baby hair, girl. Who is that? Now I'm gonna do another swoop de doop Oh, I still got gel in my hair. Um, how am I gonna work this out? My hair is still hard from a wig application yesterday. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna have to do something. I gotta wash my hair. That's what I need to do. That's what the Lord is telling me. Well. <laughs> That's got to be what it is, because I ain't going to get a lot of baby hairs out of that. But this side, I, I did a good job. So we're just going to brush that part down. That's the only thing about putting makeup on first with baby hairs. It'd be like, well, this is going to be cute. 
Ain't no turning back now, child. <laughs> and I typically don't do my natural baby hairs like this. I'm not that girl. It don't be looking right on me, but under a V part wig, I like to create like more edges. So it looks like, oh, that's her edges. That's her hair. So now that that's done, am I gonna apply the wig? I'm gonna do the leave out last. I'm just gonna roll this little bit of leave out up because I don't even know if this leave out is gonna work. <laughs> this was the educated guest friend, so I'm just gonna loop this around to the tiny little, little bantu knot. My bantu knots be so small. I used to be jealous of my sister's bantu knot. She got thicker hair than me. <laughs> Like, oh, she got the best thing two knots. Okay, so the wig is dry. Ish. Somewhere. Hopefully it's all dry, girl. I don't I don't know. It be taking these wigs so long to dry. We're gonna plop the wig on. Okay. Oh, it's warm. Oh, this is nice. It's like a heater on my head. So I'm gonna start in the back. Hold on. What's happening here? I'm gonna get y'all real close to my scalp. Now, if y'all see. A little snowflake here and there, mind your business. That's all, just mind your business. I'm just gonna slide it in. One, two. Snip, snap. I'm just gonna snap it down. And then in the front, I'm gonna slide it in, snap it. Oh, I probably should have pulled it back right there. But that's fine. Okay, and we snapped it in the front there. All done. Girl, that's a lot of baby hair. Wow, wow. It looks ridiculous, wow. Okay, I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I'm sorry to this man. <laughs> okay, oh, look how pretty. I'm telling y'all, when you get a wig, just put a little mousse, mousse on it, a little something on it, just to make it look, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and move on and do the leave out. Now, how I like to do my leave out is real I, I like to do the finger coil method. I don't like to put heat in my hair because my hair is real brittle, okay? She can't take a lot. Like, look at her. Stress out, baby. Look at her stress. I have to be gentle with her, so I like to do like a finger coil method to make it like... I like to use my Cantu uh, Natural Hair Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream to get the hair to curl up. Now, the good thing about this curl activator cream is that it's really, really thick. And I don't know if it's water-based. It is. It don't be curling up my hair immediately. Like my hair doesn't revert after being blow dried like immediately. So I'm just gonna part the hair down the middle. I'm just gonna lay this. I'm gonna clip this part down to this side and we're gonna work on this one side. So I'm gonna finger coil in tiny sections. We're gonna take the can too. It's real thick, y'all. I'm gonna put a little, I'm gonna put a little dot on my finger. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna take that little bitty dot and then add it to the hair. And it usually makes my hair like stick straight before it curls. It'll start curling and reverting in a second. And then I'm gonna take my finger after rubbing it through and I'm gonna finger coil from the bottom to the top. And I'm gonna hold it here for like a minute. Girl, why is my arm already hurting? I worked out yesterday, that's why. Cause I was about to say, girl, I'm gonna uncoil my finger. Y'all see? And I let it rest. Like I don't play with it, I don't touch her. I'm just gonna let her stay right there and relax. And rest in her feminine. <laughs> We're gonna do the same thing on both sides. I'm gonna finger coil it.
on. Okay, so now I need to just blend my little pieces. So I'm gonna take the little piece of hair, right? And I like to just twist it into the hair. Just twist it a little bit. Shift it a little bit. I twist it into the hair. Here's another piece. It's all dry. Take a little piece and just twist it. I'm gonna take this piece, twist it in. I'm gonna twist it like back here somewhere. And this one piece, I'm gonna twist it right, right here. Boom. Okay, hair. Can you even see my part? Like, where my part at? <laughs> okay, so this is how it looks as a side part. I think it looks okay, but I think because of my hair texture and it's straight, it's just not giving what I want it to give. So I'm about to switch this part. This is what it looks like as a side part. We're gonna pop the wig off, switch the part real quick. I'm gonna do the same method, except make it a middle part. And then we will go from there. Girl, I did all that. <laughs> she did all that. Okay, just gonna, I'm gonna do the middle part. I feel like the middle part, I knew the middle part was gonna look better because of the color. I should have known better, but that's all right. I could do this. Let's see how many minutes right now. Okay, I'm just gonna twist this section away. Is this straight? Girl, that don't look straight at all. Okay, now I'm just gonna braid down the sides. I'm gonna do a anchor braid and I'm gonna go back and down. Okay y'all, so this is the finished look. Y'all see this? Look at this hair. Do y'all see her? Look at this hair and look at the edges. You know I don't leave edges out because I gotta protect them with my life. I told y'all, it's the bodyguard. It's a little short piece. So I did two styles, the middle part and the side part, and I prefer the middle part. I do wish I didn't cut the hair as much because this is like, why I do that? Why I do that? <laughs> I'm kind of happy that I cut it because it makes the hair more voluminous, but I could have just calmed down on the scissors. I'm telling y'all right now, I could have calmed down, but I didn't and this is where we are. So I love the curls. Now, as far as like the roots, this is what it looks like in the roots. I had a small amount of leave out and look at it. Where the tracks at? Where the tracks at? This is what the hair looks like. Let me show you what it looks like in the back. Ooh, that side. Ooh, I'm happy I cut it. The side profile? Ooh, I'm about to claw clip this too. Ooh, it's gonna be cute. You can't even see. I'm sorry, friend. Ooh, I'm sorry. If it's uneven in the back, girl, I cut it while it was a side part, so don't say nothing to me. This is what it looks like in the back. I 
think I am going to do like a little claw clip moment. This is like a cute little claw clip. It has like a little bit of green in it. I'm going to clip it up in a second. I'll show y'all what it looks like clipped up. Um, right here. I'll do a little clip of it being clipped up. But I still got to do the intro and I want this hair to look cute. So I'm going to leave it like this. I hope that y'all enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the wig. Y'all tell me what you think about this hair or this wig down below. Because I like her. I feel like early Beyonce. Like when she probably made her like her first, I don't curse on my songs, Beyonce. PG Beyonce. That's who I feel like. I want to say thank you again to Clyde Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. Coupon code. Oh my God, girl. I almost let y'all out the door without a coupon code. Oh my God. Did that say 30% off? Let me cross check this because what? Friend, hold on. I'm checking it. If you would like to get 30% off your wig purchase, you can use the coupon code that I will list down below. I will leave the 30% off coupon code down in the description box below if you're interested. So go check it out. Grab your coupon and roll it out here and be cute with your scalp out this summertime. I love you all so, so, so much. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for engaging. Thank you for watching. Thank you just... Ugh. For everything, I don't think y'all know how much I love you, but let me quit ranting. I'm real hungry, so I love you all, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.